in a time of darkness and uncertainty, one man was called to witness a revelation beyond imagination. Exiled on the island of Patmos, the Apostle John was taken into the spirit, where a voice, like a trumpet, called to him suddenly. A burst of light reveals a majestic figure, eyes like fire, feet glowing like bronze, a sword flashing from his mouth. He saw the Son of Man, clothed in glory and power, the Alpha and Omega, the Living One, the One who holds the keys to death and Hades. This is the revelation that would shake the world. On a quiet day, while in the spirit, John heard a voice, as loud as a trumpet, calling from behind him, write in a book what you see, and send it to the seven churches. Trembling at the sound, he turned, and before his eyes stood a figure like no other. It was the Son of Man, clothed in a robe that reached to his feet, with a golden sash around his chest. His head and hair were white as wool, as white as snow, and his eyes blazed like fire. His feet were like bronze, glowing as if they were in a furnace, and his voice thundered like rushing waters. In his right hand, he held seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp, double-edged sword. His face shone as bright as the sun in its full strength. Overcome by the sight, John fell at his feet, as though dead. But the one standing before him reached out his right hand and touched him. Do not be afraid, he said. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. The Son of Man instructed John to write down everything he saw, the mysteries of the seven stars and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. The seven churches represented by the seven lampstands in the book of Revelation symbolize the various congregations within the early Christian community. Each lampstand serves as a reminder of the light of Christ shining in his church, illuminating the way for believers. The seven lampstands are connected to specific churches in Asia Minor, each facing unique challenges and messages from Christ. These churches remind us of the diverse experiences and challenges faced by the body of Christ throughout history. This was a message not only for John but for the entire church, then and now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.